Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in the first descendant. We're going to start by optimizing Windows and after that we will go inside of the game. So now the best setting for Windows for gaming. So first of all, we're going to search for game mode in the search bar. Make sure that game mode is activated for the past like year. It's pretty good. Uh, you're getting a decent performance and you're going to make sure that all your resources are focused on the game that you're playing. For the Xbox game bar, I still recommend to deactivate this one, causing stuttering, crashing in some games. So, I'm not a huge fan of the Xbox game bar. And for the capture, make sure that the background recording is at off, and also the, record, uh, the recorded audio is at off. Another thing that I recommend, it's the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Make sure that you're searching for graphics setting. You will need an NVIDIA card, 1000 series or more recent. It will really help with bottleneck. So if you have a 1050, 1050 Ti, 1060, even the 2060, you can expect a nice 2 to 5% boost. And also you can expect like less stuttering when you're using that. So I re really recommend to use that. Another thing that is really important, it's your driver. Make sure that you have the latest driver from AMD, NVIDIA, even Intel, if you have an iGPU on your processor. Um, so for an example here with AMD, you just click check for update and it's going to show you if you have the latest one. You can do the same thing with NVIDIA. Another thing that I can recommend with the um, NVIDIA and AMD, they have a, an image scaling uh, for the past like a couple of months. Um, for from AMD, it's called Super Resolution, and for NVIDIA, it's NIS. I have dedicated video to, who's gonna like show you how to use that and how to configure it. But to explain you quickly what it's about, uh, so you need to enable this. So for example, I'm playing uh, in 2K because my monitor in, is in 2K. I'm going inside of my game. I lower the resolution at 1080p, and the software will scale it back at 2K. And with this process, I can save like 15, 20% in my FPS. Also, you can do it if you have like a 4K monitor and you want to do 1080p or 2K. Uh, you can expect a nice boost. The image quality will not be the same if you compare with native, but in some game, it's working very well and you it's very tough to see the difference. So I, I recommend to, to use it if you're struggling with your FPS. So if you have an NVIDIA card, just go on your NVIDIA setting, go to control panel, open it, go to manage 3D setting and just use pretty much the setting that I'm currently using. Honestly, they're pretty much default. So the first one that you need to change is your low latency mode. If you have this technology, make sure that it's at on. The other one is your if you want to lock your FPS. Uh, for an example, you have like a 170 Hertz monitor and you want to stay in your G-Sync ring. Uh, range sorry you just put your uh, FPS here at like something like 167 something like that you want to be under 170 Hertz to always stay in your G-Sync range so if you want to do that it will do that for all your game it's a global setting over there so I'm gonna unlock it and this is pretty much it if you have access to the change ECC state I recommend to uncheck it this will slow your VRAM so you don't want to use that for change resolution, make sure that you're playing native. So you're, if you have a 2K monitor, go with 2K. If you have a 1080p monitor, go with 1080p. And super important, look at your refresh rate. A lot of people <laughs> are missing this step. They buy like a new screen and by default it's at 60. So use the uh, maximum refresh rate that is available on your uh, monitor. The last parameter will be your G-Sync. So I recommend if you want to use G-Sync, I recommend to, first of all, you need to enable it. And I recommend to use the enable for window and full screen. So if you're playing a game like in borderless mode, it will be applied. Also, you can select just one uh, display screen, depending on whatever. If, if your second screen is not compatible with G-Sync, you will just push it to one monitor. Uh, me, I'm not using it. I have a 4090 uh, for my GPU, so I just want to unlock my FPS. So in majority of the game, I'm getting like 250 FPS and um, my monitor refresh rate is at 170 Hertz. So I just want to lower my input lag. So that's why I just unlock everything, but it really depends on your situation. So this is pretty much it for NVIDIA. Another thing that I recommend, it's your energy profile. So write energy in your search bar, go to power option. Make sure that you're running something like balance or high performance. Um, on a de desktop computer, it should not be an issue. But if you're playing on a laptop, 
really make sure that you're using that or a special profile for performance uh, from your brand like Asus, Dell or whatever. The thing is sometimes when you plug your uh, PC in the wall, unplug using it with the battery, sometimes it stay at power saver and you don't want to use that when you're playing a game. So super important to be plugged in and also uh, to use a proper uh, performance profile. Another thing that I can recommend, it's the Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. This is a software made by the guy from DDU. Um, it's, it's pretty amazing, honestly. Um, it will help if you don't have a lot of RAM in your PC. So if you have 4 gig of RAM, 8 gig, 12 gig, uh, after that, you should be fine. Windows is doing the job properly. So it will free memory and it's going to make sure that it optimizes your standby list. So what I recommend normally, it's look at your total memory here. In my case, it's 32. Just divide it by 2. So for me, it's 16. Just press start and it will run automatically. And you just lower the software like that. And you're going to make sure it's optimized. So it's a really good software. And also it helps a little bit with uh, stuttering. So I really recommend to use that. One last thing is um, I have dedicated video on my channel about overclocking CPU, overclocking GPU, depending on your brand and stuff. And it's pretty good because it there are basic overclocking guide. I don't touch voltage, so it's pretty safe. You can expect sometimes 2%, 10 percent boost in your FPS, depending on your thermal, depending on your component. But it's it's something that you need to look at, too, if you want to optimize your PC um, for the best performance. So now let's go inside of the game. So now inside of the game, we're going to start by display mode. So over there, make sure that you're playing full screen. Uh, I was getting some random drop with borderless and also more input lag. So go with full screen resolution. Make sure that you're playing native in my case with 1440p. So don't lower your resolution over there. We will have some uh, upscaling technique for that. Field of view, it's question of preference. I like to play at 104, but the thing is more uh, FOV, you're going to lose FPS. So don't go too crazy. If you're struggling right now to have your 60, maybe do like 90 or 80 for your FOV. So definitely change some stuff over there. Sharpness, it doesn't affect your FPS, but if you feel that your game is too blurry, add some sharpness. If you feel like it looks too much as a Instagram filter, go lower. By default, it will be at zero. I like to play at four. So now let's go to the graphics section, go to custom, ray tracing for sure, deactivate this. You're going to lose a lot of FPS. In performance, you have the upscaling technique. Really cool the way they present it. So you have by brand. For sure, if you have an NVIDIA card with an, RT an RTX card, go with DLSS. DLSS is the best upscaling technique right now on the market. So quality, you can expect a nice 15 to 17% 17 boost in your FPS. If you want just pure image quality and you don't really care about FPS, definitely use DLLA. After that, honestly, they look very blurry if you are in 1080p or 14. 1440p sorry but if you're playing 4k definitely do some testing with balance if you don't see a big difference between both go with balance you will have more fps nvidia reflex latency i recommend to go with on for sure if you have a 4000 series from nvidia definitely use frame generation so activate it it will provide you 35 percent boost in your fps and I unlock my FPS to have the lowest input lag. If you have another brand, for an example, you're using AMD, uh, pretty much the same thing. I recommend to go with quality, uh, deactivate your VSync, uh, use the frame generation if it's possible, and this also unlock your FPS. And also, it's working for uh, NVIDIA card or even Intel if you don't want to use the upscaling technique from Intel. So it's not just for AMD. If you have like a 2000 series, 1000 series from Nvidia, I really recommend to use FSR in this game. So now let's go back with Nvidia. So let's go to advanced settings. So first of all, visibility is your uh, view distance. I recommend to go with medium. You can expect a nice 6% boost, ultra and medium. And honestly, it will stabilize a lot your FPS. Anti-aliasing, if you're using an upscaling technique, it doesn't, uh, it will not like add it up, so just so you don't really care. But if you're using off over there, I recommend to go with low. Uh, honestly, the aliasing in this game is not that bad, and you can expect a nice 5% boost over there. Post processing, I recommend to go with low. You can expect 6% boost, and honestly, post processing at ultra, the game looks very blurry, so that's why I just put it at low. Shadow, you can expect a nice 12% uh, boost in your FPS. P FPS ultra to medium and ultra to low low 16 but honestly at low the game looks very flat 
So I, I, I like to play it at medium. And it's pretty much the same thing with global illumination. Go with medium, a nice 8% boost. And at low, the game looks too flat to me. If you really want to stabilize your FPS, I really recommend reflection and effect at low. Uh, effect is pretty crazy. If you go at higher ultra and you're fighting, you're dropping like crazy some FPS. So those ones go with low. Texture, if you have 8 gig and more of your RAM, go ultra. 6 gig high, 4 gig medium, and less than 4 gig go with low. Vegetation, I recommend medium, 1% difference between low and medium. After that, you're, you're going to lose 3% for each bracket, so recommendation is go with medium. Shader quality, you can definitely run this one at high, not a huge impact on your FPS. Object, I recommend to go with medium also, 1% difference between low and medium. High and ultra, you're going to start tanking your FPS a lot. Physic, it really depends on your CPU. Honestly, I had like I did some testing on a, an old computer and I was struggling be because of physic. If you just want to make sure that you just want performance, go with low. If you don't really mind and you have a good CPU, uh, definitely go with medium or high. I recommend to deactivate motion blur because you have the game looks very blurry when you you do some left to right. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of that. In any game, honestly, I always deactivate my motion blur. So this is pretty much it, guys. As you can see, the game looks very sharp and very nice. Uh, I did some capture when I did test my settings. So if you have any questions, just comment in the YouTube section. Post me your rig, CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.